but we're still with the sausage pride and uh, they've just stopped on top of a termite mound at the moment and we had a, a, a view of a hyena in the grass we can't see it now but that's what they're watching uh, and seeing in that area where that hyena disappeared oh hungry little ones mom's not 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 so keen oh they're starting to complain Ow. is just too sweet. Uh, Mary is wondering, do the females always have a natural curl in their tail? Now, Mary, I, I would say yes. I mean, it's 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 muscles around bone, and it curls and flicks like that, so the cubs can follow it through the long grass, which we've seen here is far more important than in in in, in Juma because the grass is just so much longer and thicker. It looks like they're going to get moving again shortly. And uh, as I said, I heard there was a male lion who'd made a kill somewhere up around here. But while we were looking for him, we spotted these guys coming down the mountain. And I think they collected the cubs from up there. Or oh, what it looks like, we might be taking a break. Uh, such a prey-rich area. And uh, as I said, most of the time they, they're feeding off buffalo. I mean, sorry, warthog. The males feed a lot off buffalo in this area. And the females tend to stick to warthog, and it makes sense in this really long grass that probably surprise them quite easily and quite frequently. Lady Starfire says, will the grass be that long all year round? Well, currently on their way going me me uh, are about 1.5 million wildebeest who are going to flatten this grass so it won't be this long all year round and uh, once the wildebeest move off sort of September-ish and uh, there'll be very little grass around actually and then November the rains start again and the grass makes this miraculous recovery now a lot of grass species actually need to be grazed to grow nicely again and that's probably why we've got not probably it is why we've got these beautiful big seas of grass here in Kenya and uh, it is because of that constant once a year feeding that happens oh where are you off to little monster on a mission a disappearing mission mission into the long grass now, will one of the others decide it's time to jump on you? Yes. <laughs> Just can't leave a little cousin or sibling alone. Have to harass. You can see all those flies all over her. Ray would like to know, what do the lions eat when they can't find prey? Well, if they can't find prey, they don't eat anything. Because everything they eat is prey. Uh, so if they can't find prey indefinitely, they'll die. But of course that doesn't happen too often. And they can go up to sort of 10 days without a meal. But I don't think I've ever, I've seen a, a lion in the Mara that's looked that hungry. There is 
a huge amount of game. We can't always see it because of the long grass, but there is just a huge amount of animals here, even when the great migration isn't here. A very peaceful scene now as the females peruse over the grassland. And they're just maybe making sure that it's only a single hyena that wandered past and not multiple before they try and move the little ones again. Are we going to have a little break? It looks like they're going to take a little time out. Oh, look at that. For, I know that didn't look very comfortable or very dignified, madam. But they're going to take a little break. And uh, we're going to just go have a look. There's some rocks up ahead where I think there might be a kill, but I'm not 100% sure. They just keep looking in that area, and that hyena was wandering around there. But while we do that, let's see how Taylor's search for lions in South Africa is going.